good morning students let us continue with the song chapter this is the second part of the chapter now in this part we will discuss about characteristics of sound waves as per i told that the first characteristics is the loudness or intensity of a sound loudness the word itself as you can think of that loud means that there is maybe the sound that we can hear loud voice we can hear or feeble voice or low voice we can hear low sound we can hear so that characteristics of sound that is loudness or intensity it distinguishes between feeble sound from a loud one of the same frequency or we can say that the as i told that sound is a form of energy so in a unit area how much is the sound energy being perceived or received that is that will give the more sound louder sound or feeble sound or low sound so loudness depends upon the amplitude we had discussed in the first part that what amplitude is that is the maximum displacement of a wave this is the amplitude so if more is the higher is the amplitude louder will be the sound if amplitude is low this displacement is less than low sound we can hear that means loudness directly depends upon the amplitude or we can also say the energy that the particular wave carries with it so more is the amount of energy carried by the particular wave louder will be the sound next factor is on which loudness depends upon is the loudness of the sound increases with an increase in the area of the vibrating body what does it mean if we are having a surface area means larger drum and we are having a smaller drum in which we can hear the more sound the area of the drum which is more the surface area is more we can hear more loud sound with that drum from that drum compared to the smaller one so louder loudness of the sound increases with the increase in the area of the vibrating body another factor is loudness as you are sitting here as in the first bench and your friend is sitting in the last bench and the teacher is speaking or the speaker is speaking here who can hear more loud sound who is closer to the speaker so the distance between the speaker and the listener or the source and the speak listener if that is less that means loudness of the sound increases with the decrease in the distance between listener and the source or the speaker that means loudness of the sound is inversely proportional to the distance between speaker and listener other factors are also there on which loudness depends upon are atmospheric temperature pressure velocity of wind and amount of moisture present in the air in detail you will study in higher classes that what a uh, how on these factor also loudness depends upon like uh, the simple concept is there if you are going uh, in a vehicle in a motor bike and the driver and one another person is sitting and if the driver is speaking and the wind is in the same direction along with the direction then the sound is coming in this direction the person can hear less sound less low sound and if the driver is speaking and the listener have to listen and the wind is blowing in the same direction then the person sitting behind to the driver can hear more sound the next characteristics of sound is pitch of a sound what does pitch means that pitch distinguishes between shrillness and hoarse sound that sometimes you might have heard that some sound are shrill to hear and some are means hoarse sound 
so higher will be the pitch higher is the pitch shriller is the sound and the characteristics of sound pitch depends upon frequency as we had dis discussed before if frequency means the number of waves formed in one second so how the number of waves can be more if the number of waves more in number in the given interval of time and if the number of waves are less in the given interval of time if more number of waves higher frequency less number of waves less frequency or lower frequency so higher is the frequency higher is the pitch higher is the shriller is the sound if lower frequency lower low pitch and flatter sound or hoarse sound so pitch is directly depends upon the frequency higher is the frequency higher is the pitch shriller is the sound lower is the frequency lower is the pitch and flatter or hoarse is the sound but there is a difference between pitch and frequency as well what is the difference between pitch and frequency the difference between pitch and frequency is pitch is a subjective quantity it only percept that what type of sound is being produced by the given wave but frequency is a objective quantity that we can count we can count the number of waves formed so frequency is an objective quantity whereas the perception the perceptive measurement is given by pitch that is a subjective quantity next characteristics of sound is quality the word itself tells quality means it will tell about the quality of the sound wave having two different notes with the same frequency and same amplitude means same pitch means number of waves in the given interval of time is same the height or the maximum displacement that is the amplitude of the wave is also same the number of waves formed is same the height of the wave is also same then what is the difference it distinguishes between the sound characteristics of sound of two different bodies or two different musical instruments then how we can differentiate between that in different pattern of waves it will form two different instruments having same number of frequency having same amplitude but the pattern of the wave it will form that will be different and it will produce different or distinct sound different pattern and that different pattern of the secondary wave is known as harmonics that means what different musical instruments or different source of sound will produce different harmonics gives different quality of sound and on the basis of this harmonics we can distinguish between the quality of sound produced by two different instruments or different instruments thus we can easily distinct between the quality of sound of two different instruments on the basis of the harmonics that is the unique pattern being formed by the waves as you can see here the pattern of the wave and here you can here the pattern of the wave is this and here the pattern of the wave is this okay so two different pattern it's it frames and that those are known as harmonics so on the basis of that we can easily distinct between the quality of the sound produced by two different instruments